So in the opening game of the World Cup, it's hosts Russia up against Saudi Arabia. So the starting lineups for Russia are like this. Akin Fev, Dashinka, Kombarov, Smolinkov, Kurdasharov, Tatsakov, Surkov, Marankchuk, Sabadov, Tzupa, and Smolov. And there's a few of the benches. As for Saudi Arabia, the starting eleven is like this: Abdullah Al Ahabi, Al Zori, Hawasawi, Muawath, Al Jasim, Al Shehari, Abadet, Al Faraj, Al Salawali, and Asiri. And these fellas are on the bench. So the 2018 World Cup it's underway with Russia versus Saudi Arabia. Here we go, and it's kicking off in retro style. FIFA 95 hacked. That's right, folks. I have managed to get a hold of a simulated or emulated copy of FIFA 95 and uh, with the help of a buddy out of Chicago Dave Jordan big thumbs up to him he's managed to help me hack into the old uh, the data of this of this classic uh, football game and we've managed to bring up the squads right up to the World Cup 2018 so we're going to simulate the entire World Cup in the style of the 1995 Retro Classic, which I played on my Mega Drive. Uh, for those of you in the US, that is a Genesis. So, Russia gets underway, I think. I think they got us underway, but anyway. Play is underway. Saudi Arabia in the greens, Russia in the white jerseys. Hosts of this tournament in Russia. And when this game actually takes place, it will take place in the Luzhniki Stadium in Moscow on the 14th of June, 2018. Uh, looking forward to the World Cup myself. Uh, Saudi Arabia try to hustle and bustle, try to get an early goal in the tournament. Not sure how I would uh, rank Russia and Saudi Arabia. I don't know. I think Russia have a good chance of making the at least the knockout stages. They are, are obviously hosts, so they would be favourites for this game. Saudi Arabia coming into this as major, major underdogs, and they actually have a bit of an uphill struggle with the group. Uh, who else is in this group? Well. Egypt and Uruguay so you would in when you think about it of a grand scheme of things you would think Uruguay and Russia will be the two teams that qualify but Egypt have a player hot in form right now and that is Mo Salah currently on the books of Liverpool but we have a throw in right here right now in the Luzhniki Stadium for Russia in the white shots big strike double strike big save by the Saudi keeper puts it behind for a classic Window, uh, FIFA 95 corner it's floated in there can anyone get on the head on it keep it all over the place but Saudi Arabia clean up their defense and maybe can can, can bring themselves a, a counter attack here but uh, no Russia get it back in midfield as they flip flop some shots around and again a quick shot on the keeper we do play two four minute halves in this game and I'll try and bring you a summary of all the shots and statistics at the final whistle it is completely simulated, so it's uh, CPU versus CPU. Uh, which is the better CPU, the left-hand side or the right-hand side? Anyway, here come Russia once again, trying to build uh, in their fetching white jerseys. Uh, let me talk you a little bit through of the editing process. I could, I could edit the teams, uh, the players' names, etc., but uh, I couldn't uh, edit 100% the color of the jerseys. Um, and also the colors of this skin. I don't think individual uh, skin colors was enabled uh, up until maybe maybe FIFA 96. I'm not too sure yet. That's, that's, uh, that's a question for another day. But we see another corner as this game peters towards half time. Nil nil at the moment, I hope. Well, in fact, I can promise you, not all games end in a nil nil. Um, uh, this game is actually. Uh, the first of the whole set of games for the 2018 tournament. Uh, I've recorded a few already, but this is the first one. I'm adding audio to it, uh, so I know there's goals. And I know there's some spectacular ones out there, so please stick around. Uh, as, who was that there? Was that the uh, Russian goalkeeper? Oh, big foul. He's, oh, it could be a yellow card here. But the referee allows it. That's Saudi Arabia. Continue. So a lot of the countries... In the FIFA, another free kick. A dirty little team is uh, is Russia. But yes, um, as we crawl towards the half time whistle and the four minute mark, but a lot of teams that were already in the database 
uh, or within the game, should I say. Uh, I didn't have to add that many. Maybe maybe a lot of, a lot of the newer countries like Serbia. Um, who else is pretty new? When I say new, I mean newly formed countries. Uh, but that's a cheeky shot. It goes to the back of the net, but it's half time. Oh, I think Russia will be a little bit miffed with that one. And the boys are back from their breaks. They've had a cup of tea. And uh, Saudi Arabia kick us off with the second half. As you saw, right at their death there, a goal. But it was disallowed, it wasn't it? It wasn't even disallowed. It just, went, it just went in the back of the net after the final uh, halftime whistle. Um, but yes, a lot, of the, a lot of the countries were already in the game. For example, England, France, Germany, all the big heavy hitters. Even Russia, I think, they were in this. Uh, yeah, they, they were in it. Um, Saudi Arabia, they were also in it. So I just had to tweak their databases a little bit. Uh, well, a lot, because none of the players, obviously, silly me. Uh, they're long time retired. But um, this is the second time I've dabbled with the, uh, with the with the hacked edition. I did do some Blackburn Rovers games there on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check them bad boys out. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be more, more uh, suitable, obviously. This is uh, the World Cup year, and we are counting down to the World Cup. Looking forward to it. Uh, if you're watching this, uh, let me know your, your thoughts on this retro style throwback to uh, the World Cup. Obviously, a lot of, a lot of uh, YouTube channels simulating the World Cup, but using uh, you know, FIFA 18 and uh, the Pro Evolution, Pro Evolution Soccer, the latest edition. But I think I might be the only person out there doing a retro style FIFA 95 edition with current teams and players. So let me know how you feel about that. And also, let me know your feel, how you feel about the World Cup as Saudi Arabia get probably their first real effort on the goal. Uh, making the keeper sweat a little bit. So the Russian keeper boots it out pretty poorly. Poor distribution. Who can pick up the, the pieces? Looks like Saudi Arabia are going for it now in the second half. Uh, like I said, two four minute halves. So it's going to be, uh, it's whoever I think whoever gets the first goal here is going to win this. And Saudi Arabia looked like the better side. And again, the keepers have to go down to the ground. Uh, what I did notice by doing this, uh, yeah, I could call it an experiment. But um, I was hoping for, oh, I was I was thinking that was going in the back of the net. I had that look about it. And when I say that look about it, you will tell, uh, as you watch these videos, that you will tell. You can, have a, you can see what's a potential goal, and that looked like a potential goal. Um, but yeah, I was hoping that there would be some player indicators that I could, I could actually say uh, the names of the players as they had it. But you will see the names of the players as they score, or if they foul, or uh, if, if anything, any instance come up. So I can't say that this is uh, Abdullah, for example, because I don't know. It should be, though. Um, Anyway, Russia clean up house. They have a minute and 30 left in, uh, in, in actual gameplay time, which is probably around about, I would say, 15 minutes uh, in, in the in your simulated world as Russia try to get a opening day win. Will it be like this in the actual tournament? Will Russia struggle? Uh, I, I don't know. It, it, they're they're a, a tough side to, to call. Obviously, they are playing at home, but, and they, but they've not had any real competitive football in a long time. Saudi Arabia, I believe they stormed through qualification, so they were one of the first teams uh, to qualify from Asia, uh, and they quite, quite qualified quite comfortably, and that's a cheeky foul, and that could be a dangerous free kick, and here we get a chance, look at that, Kumbara with a yellow, first name in lights, and now we're going to see a retro FIFA 95 free kick in a dangerous position, it's taken very quickly, and the keeper gets down to the ground, and it's going to be, it looks like it's going to be a Peter out to a nil-nil draw. But I do, I promise you, I assure you there's goals in this tournament. Uh, they're not all going to Peter out to this. I think they're just playing cautiously, you know. They don't want to start the uh, tournament off with a with a sour result. And that's a dirty foul as well. Russia will have a free kick in a reasonable position. Maybe they can float this bad boy in and actually upset the odds right at the death as he turns and shoots. He does, and that again had a flavour of a goal. But it's still nil-nil. Saudi Arabia kicker, uh, goalkeeper kicks it out, and uh, they've got now 20 seconds, 20 seconds to find a win. Is anybody going to do it? Is anybody got the hero mentality today? Nicely floated in there on his own, or is he? Yeah, it's going to be the keepers. Um, also, let me know your thoughts if you've uh, actually played this game when it came out originally, because I love this game. And there you go, opening day, opening result, nil nil. And there are the statistics for the day. Uh, five shots for five. It's pretty even result. Look at that. It's pretty even all around the park. No goal scorers. And just the one foul.
And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching, please like, share and of course subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.